Perfect. Looks good. Yes, thanks. Okay, great. Well, I appreciate being here today. I'm Jessica Cunningham. I'm the Executive Director at the Kentucky Center for Statistics, otherwise known as KY Stats. We house the Kentucky Longitudinal Data System and the Labor Market Information Office. I want to give you kind of just a brief overview about who we are, what we have in our data system currently. We've made a great deal of progress um, over the past decade in integrating administrative data across our state, um, ranging from birth all the way through the workforce and even death. So you can see this is a high level view of everything that is included in our centralized um, data system. And, and so I bring this up here because I'd like to, you know, introduce you to, you know, a, an initiative that we've kind of been involved in that has really been, um, you know, supplementing what we already have as one of the most robust data uh, longitudinal data systems in the nation. We still had blind spots in our data, um, and that being the out of state data. So we have bordering institutions, um, as many states do, uh, where graduates might be going out of state um, for work after they graduate and after they earn their credential. And so in 2018, we went to a, a convening in Chicago where we were introduced to the Coleridge Initiative where we could um, actually have access and share and collaborate on common research questions across state lines. This was um, gonna be of great value to us because as I said, um, in some of our reporting, especially from the post -secondary, our post-secondary feedback report, we were unable to really give accurate employment outcomes for those graduates. For Northern Kentucky University, for instance, in our Cincinnati um, MSA area. So we decided to, to join the Coleridge Initiative and to join other states in get, you know, putting our administrative post-secondary and workforce data into this um, environment. And then fast forward uh, about a year after we joined this initiative, we've been able to work with four different states um, to create a, a post-secondary dashboard, a multi-state post-secondary dashboard where we can do some regional planning. Um, and, and so we're really excited about the um, you know, the progress in this initiative and our ability to talk to our states on our common research questions. And so I'm not going to do a live demo today, but I'll definitely put the uh, interactive report in the chat so that you can have a chance at your, at your own leisure to look through this report. But what, what we've been able to accomplish um, is we've been able to, to really take our post-secondary data, um, interact with credential by major, um, in-state or out-of-state origin, and really answer the questions that we haven't been able to answer in the past. So anecdotally in Kentucky, um, you know, we've said we train a lot of engineers, but then, you know, we have all of these engineering jobs and they're not being employed in Kentucky. So we can actually look at the employment outcomes and see, you know, potentially where those graduates might be going to work and, um, you know, why they might be leaving our state. Maybe it might be, um, you know, for higher wages, or maybe there might be certain firm characteristics in other states that we can dive into. So this is really just an example of us being able to accomplish working with other states we're currently trying to dive down deeper um, at a more granular level, level um, to look at, you know, lower level SIPs um, by major and and really, you know, start to do some some other planning build, it, you know, bring in apprenticeships and and so forth and so on, but. Um, this has really, you know, been huge in our state because, you know, the Northern Kentucky University that I mentioned about half of their graduates we were unable to capture their employment outcomes um, in you know, our regular reporting. And so having the ability to um, do this type of reporting in a safe data environment has been huge for our state. 
So I wanted to take just a few minutes to kind of talk about, you know, where we're going from here. So like I said, now that we've shown um, kind of the value add of states being able to share data with each other on common research questions, kind of where are we going from here? So, you know, we started with post-secondary and unemployment insurance data and the QCW data into this research facility, but it doesn't have to stop there. You know, we can, we can do um, things with our, our SNAP and, and TANF data, which is some of our public assistance administrative data um, to address some of the challenges for um, our underserved subgroups, you know, in the COVID-19 era, you know, we can, we can look at our administrative data around the unemployment insurance claims and, you know, kind of, uh, uh, you know, examine that unemployment to reemployment, um, which is going to be key moving forward, uh, you know, in our state. Um, in kind of our own little silo, we've been really trying to understand, you know, post-secondary value, you know, what is kind of that post-secondary return on investment in our state. And now that we have this um, ability to work with other states who definitely have the exact same question and, you know, are trying to really be transparent, um, you know, with with the students right to know on that post-secondary value, we can work with other states on these common questions. And then finally, you know, as you can see from our larger data slide of how many administrative data sets and, and you know, how strongly we feel about being able to link data together, uh, you know, there's a, a limitless possibility for linking state and federal data sources um, together to inform policy and programmatic decisions. So an example might be, you know, something that we haven't been able to integrate so far would be the survey of earned doctorates, for example. You know, from the state perspective, it would be nice to, to have that administrative type data from the survey to know about um, graduates that are coming in with doctorates and are employed um, in Kentucky and you know migrating that way after they earn their doctorate and then likewise from the other data source side you know it would be nice to link that to the state unemployment insurance um, administrative data to be able to look at maybe longer term employment outcomes like you know um, employment retention and you know mobility of of those graduates over time so I just wanted to mention that, and all of this is in the, the paper, the conference paper that link that's on the, uh, the website, but just wanted to give you some, some high level points there. Uh, here's my contact information, happy to answer any questions that you have. Um, and I will also put the interactive uh, link in the chat so that you can play with the report as you see fit. Thank you.